What's up guys? My name is Islam and today I want to explain the whole process of BCB making at home including a little bit of BCB chemistry and also some information about BCB manufacturing. Let's get started. We have two methods to make BCB at home. The best method is photosensitive BCB. BCB factories use this method to make BCB for their clients. It gives nice and clean traces. It's a little bit complicated method, but results are very nice. The other method here is toner transfer. It's a very simple method, but it gives non-clear traces and sometimes the acid attacks cover underneath the toner. Gives cracky traces that will be a headache to be detected. In this video, I will talk about thin immersion solution and how to prepare it. So, let's move to materials and tools. I will display here quickly, but you can check it out in description. I have the design ready on my computer. Before starting May, my PCB, I ordered another little bit complicated design from PCB Way because I heard they make really high quality PCBs and to compare between my own PCB and a real professional one. So, first, let's take a look on design information. My BCD here has only 7 bytes. Before routing, I set up via cost as high because I don't want to solder too much wires between both layers. Files under SMD components are a big trouble. That's why I ask the software to fit SMD fan out outside the component. But sometimes there is no other way to fit wires outside. If you are ordering a BCB from PCB Way or any other manufacturer, they will not ask you how many wires, and it's not a problem to make wires under SMD components because they make plated wires by adding some conductive chemicals inside the holes and the plated up will cover electroplating. Then they immerse it inside another plating solution like tin, silver or even gold that improves the conductivity, protects the cover and make it easier for soldering. In this video, I'm going to make double-sided BCB. I will apply toner transfer to the bottom side and photosensitive to the top side. Let's see which method will success giving us a good traces. I'm printing my design mirrored on glossy paper. Then transfer it to the PCB using heat and pressure. In my case, I'm using a PCB laminate. You can use closest iron but sometimes it fails to get even temperature on the whole PCB. It's very important to clean the black PCB with steel wool and liquid soap before transferring the torch. And never touch the cover anymore by your hands. After making sure the toner is transferred, I attached dry foam to the other side. Now don't peel off the paper. Just soak in warm water for 5 minutes. Then try to peel it off gently. You will find paper residue between the traces. Brush it gently by toothbrush and make sure all traces are clear. 
Now the bottom side is ready for etching. Preparing etching solution. We have two materials for preparing two different etching solutions. The first one is ferric chloride. So I'm going to apply ferric chloride on the first layer. We need to mix 25 grams of ferric chloride with 100 milliliters of hot water. Then let it heat the top. For accelerate this process, you may use hot water as I did here or add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Now the board is heated. Wipe with acetone to remove the cooler and let's work on the other layer. Before we start with the other layer, we should drill the board for alignment. So here I'm going to finish all the drilling job and I will back to you. Okay, now the board is ready for photosensitive process. I have prepared my black UV light here and aligned the design to the drill holes. So now I take the PCB inside two pieces of glass and expose it to the UV light. After around 10 minutes, the design is transferred to the film. Remove the protective layer and prepare 200 ml of tap water with 1 or 2 grams of sodium carbonate. Soak the BCB inside and use toothbrush to remove the unexposed film. Now all clear. We need to pitch the PCB but at this side I want to prepare ammonium persulfate instead of using ferric chloride. Mix 100 ml of hot water with 25 grams of ammonium persulfate. I'm going to cover the itchy layer. The amazing thing about this solution is ammonium persulfate is colorless. We can watch the process easier than ferric chloride solution. But both solutions produce toxic vapors. So be careful. Also, ammonium persulfate is quite slower than ferric chloride, but gently with the board and soluble for small clearances. After itching, use small amount of potassium hydroxide. Mix it with water to remove the film from the BCB. Okay, our BCB is itchy and the traces are clear. Let's give it a good finishing. Templating solution. To make templating solution, we need to mix 0.4 grams of 10 2 chloride with 100 milliliter of distilled water. Mix it with 12 ml of sulfuric acid. Then add 4.5 grams of theriorea to the mixture. Warning: Theriorea is very, very, very harmful. It's listed as carcinogen. So please don't touch, eat, or try to breathe the thing. Take a look. Add description for materials data sheet. Okay, now let's finish this PCB. We have thinning solution ready here. We will immerse the PCB inside and let's see what happens. Before this process, make sure your PCB is clean and shiny like a piece of gold. After a few seconds, we will start to see a thin layer of thin building on the PCB. Keep the solution moving like this to get even thin coverage. After one or two minutes, remove the PCB from the solution and rinse it well with warm water. 
and don't forget to see your solution inside the bottle again. Your PCB is ready now. You can go ahead to soldering the bias first and transfer the label by tuner transfer method. Honestly, there is no way to compare between tuner transfer and photosensitive method. The second method is more professional and safer for traces even if PCB is left inside the asset for a long time. So I just used photosensitive method to make this port again. So now let's take a look on my PCB and PCB way professional PCB. Wires on my PCB made by soldering small wire between two layers. While PCB way has made the vise using cover plating inside the holes. That makes it easier to fit vise under SMD components and even saves the BCD area. True holes also has made in the same way of making vise, so I don't have to solder both sides of true hole components. In my BCD here, I should solder both layers when soldering some through-hole components to guarantee the connectivity because some components share the pins as wires on both layers. BCD way use silk screen to make labels that makes it permanent. My BCD use laser tuner as labels that are very easy to be removed by heat or thinning. My board here finished using thinning to protect the cover from oxidation. While PCP Ray Professional board has finished using solder heat resist mask that not only protect the cover but also isolate the traces from short circuit and gives nice appearance to the PCB. Finally, I can say if you want to guarantee proficiency, safe cost, and something last long, order it from BCB Way. But if you can't wait or need it urgently, just make it yourself. Before saying see you, there is some chemical materials local alternatives. Sodium carbonate. You can find sodium carbonate as washing soda in supermarkets and hardware stores. Potassium hydroxide has a symbol of KOH. Ask in hardware stores about brain opening crystals or powder. If you can't find protochloride or ammonium percentage, you can simply use muriatic acid instead of them from hardware store also. Acetone is nail polish remover. Tend to chloride and pyrrhoria should be found in a specialized chemicals store or if there is no store in your city, just see description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.